Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me, Iflux. And uh, this was supposed to be part six, but um, of this uh, industry revolution I'm doing in my city. But uh, I think this deserves to be its own episode because I'm going to explore the flow of goods between the different um, layers or areas of industry. And that's why we are looking at this screen. So in this episode, we'll focus on the flow of goods between the different uh, input and output. I'm calling input the raw forest or acquisition of the basic products for each industry type and how can we more efficiently convert them into, into these, um, what do they call this? special goods and then from there I want to explore how we can optimize the throughput of these unique uh, factories okay so that's that's uh, the main thing for today um, myself I don't, I don't know all of this I'm going to be exploring with you guys and if you have any tips if you see that I miss something important or if you have a different understanding than what I what I'm going to say please leave it in the comments below because this new industries DLC is awesome but um, I think it's very unclear regarding uh, everything in this screen for example um, how, how do we produce enough raw materials or goods or special goods in order to enable an efficient operation of all these factories and what influences this what influences um, the fire, the, the trucks, the freight, tr freight, freight trucks. I say freight trucks. Um, this is not actually a good screen to show because it's not operating. Let's go back to the screen I was showing initially because I think it's it will make more sense what I'm saying. So, look at this screen. Um, oh, by the way, let me go back just so I can explain my trail of thought from the beginning. So, I'm going to be clicking on each building within this unique factories area, the one that we, we took five parts to optimize in the, f in the last five episodes, um, and I'm going to see which goods are missing. In this case, it's plant timber. So plant timber is a special good from the forestry industry. And I'm going to try to fix this um, right now in this episode. And I come here to the industry area what's the screen name industry area info so I, I go to the forestry because plant timber is a special good from this type of industry and I see what's going on and immediately I notice something weird so look I'm producing in terms of raw raw products 412 tons however most of it is being exported I'm assuming this is export I'm, I'm this is my assumption and only a very small percentage is going to the special goods, the plant timber and paper. So what I want to do is to put more of the factories within this industry type that produce plant timber and then we'll see the impact it will have on this, um, on this distribution of goods. So what I want to do right now is just to search one of those that produces timber, no, this produces paper, this is a maintenance building, this is storage, uh, what are you, paper, don't tell me I don't have anything that produces team, but no, I must have, <coughs> I, I plopped up the buildings, I think, aha, this, 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 yeah, this is it, so I guess I only have one building, all the trucks are in use, you see here, and this affects the production rate, and maybe that's why, Maybe that's why it doesn't uh, get more goods, because obviously it, it doesn't have capacity for more goods. Yeah, so this should be an easy problem to fix, so I just need to put more of these buildings. Where is it? This produces... What is this? Is this paper or timber? Okay, this is timber. This is paper. So I only have one timber building, do I? Okay, then I need to put more. Let's see if I can squeeze this up. What is this? Yes, so there's a square building. You don't know that. Okay, this doesn't fit here. Doesn't fit here. Almost fits here. So I guess I need to create a new area for it. This looks like a good area for it. I 
could put it somewhere here. Actually, I'm going to destroy this. Yes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have this visual separation between this and this. Did I mess up the power? No, fortunately. I connected this, okay, that's not too bad. So what I want to do is create a timber focused area and I think this is actually going to be it. Yeah, I'm going to create a road here. I think this will do. Yeah, uh, you know me, I like to create one way roads, so I'm going to do something like this. So they can enter, no they should enter from down here, actually yeah. They enter from here and then they can exit here. Does this create traffic lights? No it doesn't. Awesome. Yeah, no it does not. Cool. So what I want to do is to cram a bunch of those. So if I'm producing 400 plus tons and I'm only and each factory only, I can only take 18 tons, so I can like build 20 of these things. Yeah, <laughs> okay, like, I'm not going to go that far, but I will put like 10, I will put a lot of them. So one, two, three, four, oh, pause, because you're already complaining, five, six here. Actually, I'll just leave this six just to see the impact. This is just for science. And I probably should connect this to something else. Yeah, uh, I should do something like this. Oh, I hate that this doesn't align perfectly, so I need to do something like this. And then, uh, yeah, this will do. Okay. Do you have water? You do. Okay, I have power and water. So now, each of these buildings requires 18 tons. So I, it should be easy to provide all the resources these buildings need without too much effort. There's enough storage here. I, I'm, I'm storing almost 300 tons here and then I think here 400 so yeah i have plenty of storage around here so trucks will start to flow like this and provide resources to this building i'm going to speed this up um and just to see what's going to happen and i'll be right back Okay, it seems all the buildings are producing or are getting all the resources. Let's click one of these. And they are producing plant timber, okay. Yeah, the throughput doesn't seem to be amazing. Yeah, because the <coughs> yeah, they are not filling up the storage, but these trucks are still coming in, so they're starting to get more and more busy. Yeah, so this is almost out of raw forestry products. Yeah, there we go. Not enough raw materials. So I don't know if it's because they have to travel from here to here. It's not a big distance. They also have another one here, so they should be able to supply these buildings quite easily. It's not too bad. So only one out of six is complaining. But not for long, immediately it got supplied with the raw material. So this seems to have worked. Let's take a look at the uh, industry info. Now we have 55 tons. Okay. 
and we can still do much more. Why 55? Because yeah, that's the thing. It should be it should be 18 times 7. Uh, 18 times 7 is uh, okay. I need to open my calculator. <laughs> Bear with me. 18 times 7. Should be 126 tons. Uh, what is it? So this should be 126 tons, and it's like half of that. Is it because I don't have enough workers? Is it? Oh, wow. Look the number of uneducated and educated, and uh, look at these numbers. That's insane. I need so many uneducated workers. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think we need to expand, guys. I think uh, to have an optimal throughput, I probably need all the workers. And I need uneducated workers. Which... Oh, there are so many airplanes. Um, so this is not going to be it. Will it? Shall I start? No. I think I want to keep these guys here closer to the industries and educated. Shall I create here a small village that will provide hopefully workers for these guys? There's also this blank space over here. Hmm, okay. Okay, but that, that will have to be for another episode because in this episode I want to focus on these on these resources. Okay, so assuming the problem of the efficiency of these buildings is workers, let's leave that aside for now and and worry about that on the next episode. For now, let's just work uh, or worry or focus on having the right number of buildings. So I think I'm happy with that. Maybe I should put a few more. Let's see. <clears throat> what if I do something like? Is this flat? I think it is. If I do something like this. Ooh, this is not flat. Okay. okay no, I think this is. I'm not completely happy with this yet. Let's try something like this. This should be completely flat here. Can I squeeze in another building of a different type? So, to make paper, we have like three different types of buildings. Is it? Oh, we have a sawmill. Sawmill, like, oh, did I miss the sawmill? Did I miss? I didn't. What? Oh, I didn't put a sawmill on my forestry industry. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was finding it odd that there was only one building to produce one type of material. Normally, there's at least two. Oh, I forgot to put a sawmill. Where is it? I lost it. Here it is. Oh, this needs to exist. And actually, I think I might put more than one uh, if I can squeeze it in. Which I can't. And then one here and another. Come on. Okay. And oh, it's power con. Oh, it is through here. Apparently, this is connected. Normally, when it isn't, it shows like a, a sign, a symbol saying it's disconnected. Although visually it doesn't look like it's connected, but it's not complaining, so I guess I shouldn't complain either. <laughs> okay. So how much do this store? 15, okay, this store less than the other ones, okay. It's just to have a bit of variety. I think it looks cool. Yeah, okay, this should be plenty. Now I'm going to assume we need paper as well, and I'm going to create another one-way road here. Not here, because I don't like to create four-way intersections, but I will start from here and then do something like... Oh, I'm going to mess up the power in time. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, what am I doing? What are you doing, if like so? What I want to do is something like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should pause it. Uh, let me put now other buildings. So this is to make 
Wow, this is a huge freaking building. Okay, uh, uh, a pulp mill. Okay, this will fit here actually very nicely. I think. Let's see. Yeah, this will fit in very, very well indeed. And now, if I do something like this. Can I squeeze in the other building? Let's find out. I can. I can. Okay. So how much do these uh, take? 15. I can build much more than this. Uh, do, am I able to squeeze something in here? Let's see. If I do it all the way to here. Can I squeeze in another one of those? Oh no. What? Oh, because it's sideways. Okay, uh, maybe I can... Uh, what? It wasn't sideways, what am I talking about? I'm seeing the wrong one. It, no, I'm seeing the right one. Be honest. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, maybe... Then I don't need this road. Why did I put this road here? Then I can just move this guy. Yeah, I can just move this. Okay, apparently I cannot move it all the way to that side. And I can still put a road like this. And I can still squeeze in this building here. I can, I love it when things just fit perfectly. And I don't need this road here. Okay, I also don't need this road here. Why? No. Then I'll hide all these imperfections with trees. Okay, I think this will do. I, I can actually put a um, some parking lots here just to make this oops, this area look a bit more industrial. No. No. Yes. Okay. I think. Um, Shall I put a few here? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, this one is a bit weird. Okay, and then I'll put a bunch of trees here, just to hide these uh, imperfections. Although here is a good candidate for another type of parking lot. This one. Oh, this one. Here. Here. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then the rest will be trees. Okay, I'm happy with this. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Although, I would like to level this here a bit. So it doesn't look so square. No. Oh, what am I doing? God damn it. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Why? No, uh, because I have the wrong one. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Yes. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay. You are complaining because you are not connected. No, you, no, you are. Okay. So this should... This should really increase the throughput of these um, special goods. Oh, we don't have water. Sorry, let's fix that, like this, should be okay now, and um, workers, let's see the public transportation we have around here, let's see, we don't have buses coming through here, this is a, a bit of a fail, the buses go on, ah, oh, this shouldn't be happening, the buses go here and here, Okay, then I guess we need another bus route around this area, right? Yeah, we need to enable workers to come here. And where will they go from here? <laughs> I can't... Yeah, I cannot go to this. Yeah, I... Oh wow, this is going to be a bit crazy, but... Uh, okay, then uh, what I'm going to do is something like this. Oh, I 
And then how can I come back? How can I come back? How can I come back here? Oh, I need to turn around here. <sighs> this, is, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, this is really not amazing. Okay. This is not the best bus line I've ever created. Yeah, this really isn't. So how will they get? I guess they will... Yeah. So if you come by train, you get on the bus here, you leave on this bus stop if you want to come here, and then from here you connect to here. You can just a short walk and you get to the bus and you come here. This doesn't look good at all. Another thing I can do actually put is put um pathway. Can I put a pathway? I can, I think I can. If I do it like um Come on, let me, let me do what I want, yeah, come on, I want that square, I want this, yes, oh, come on, come on, here, yes, <laughs> gotcha, okay, so what I want to see if, if I do something like this, if people are actually going to use it, oh, but then I have this big thing here, mm -hmm. then I should be able to curve it, come on, Okay, I need to turn off the road guidelines, that's what not letting me put inside this square. Oh, but then I'm going to mess up these power cables. God damn it, okay, I need to pause this. Uh, let's see if I can do something like this. Why don't you like, okay, I need to do a bit smaller. Something like this. Okay. And then something like... Uh, yeah, like this. Uh, maybe I should lower this. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let this be this way, and then I'm going to lower it. Just like this. And then I should be able to connect it, for example, from here to here. And from here to here. Yep. And um, actually, I don't want this this way. I want this to be a bit more straight. So I want this like this. And then like this. And this will just go straight into this. Yeah. And then from here, they can get to everywhere else. This might actually be the best route for them short walk, well not that short, but they can use the bikes <laughs> if they want, <laughs> and I think like this, it's going to be more efficient, okay, so if you work here, you can just walk from the train station, or if you're very, very lazy and you prefer to spend more time on the bus, you can get the bus, then change here, walk a bit, or leave here, and then walk a bit, get the other bus, and then you can come here. Yeah, I think I think this should work. Now let's see the power cable situation. Okay. So let's reconnect this here. And I I messed up this connection, didn't I? I did. Then what I want to do is just cross here. And, oh, I can't. God damn it. I could put it here, so I, I, why can't I just cross? Okay, I'm not going to question this. It's not worthy. Ah, is this... I'm going to hide this with trees. Yeah, I'm going to hide all of this with trees. But for now, I want to focus on, the, on this building. Okay, this should be okay. Let's actually see... Oops, let's actually see if someone is going to start using this. Look, I'm I'm running at triple speed. But it doesn't make any difference. Barely any difference. It's like only slightly faster. <laughs> because it's already such a big city <laughs> with so many things, yeah. It can't it can do it any faster. Come on guys. Come on. 
Please tell me this wasn't a waste of space and money. Let's let's give it a minute. I will speed this up. Let's give it a, a couple of minutes actually and uh, let's see if someone's actually going to use this or not. Okay, like a couple of people are using it. Yeah. <gasps> Another three people if I didn't miss anyone. Okay, I guess that's something. Although I I think from an aesthetical perspective it does look good to have this pathway here. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it's too practical. How are we in terms of workers? Okay, more than half, but still not, not enough. We do have some decent demand um, for residential and for everything else. Yep, yeah, okay. So what are you complaining about? Oh, here is the sawmill. I'm blind, I didn't see it. Okay. And why, why aren't you getting? You're right here next to this. This is what I don't understand. What is this? Let's, let, let's see if I can make sense of this. Depending on storage mode, the warehouse will try to do one of the following things. Balanced. Half full and half empty. Okay. It's not succeeding because it's completely full. <laughs> Feel. I'm to keep the storage for acquiring the resource. Aim to empty the resource by selling it. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know what's the priority. I don't know if once the resource gets um, produced and you have two buildings asking for it, you have the warehouse because it wants to store and you have these factories that want to use it to produce special goods. Who wins? Where's the priority? I would expect the priority to be the factories and whatever doesn't have a destination for the factories it would go to the warehouses to be stored you know access this is how I read it but it doesn't seem to be the case because this is completely full and I have buildings complaining that they don't have resources and they are not using any freight truck freight freight trucks I don't know how to say this word let's just go with freight trucks freight freight doesn't seem right Let's go with freight. Freight trucks. So I don't I don't know why this is happening. And I don't know if these trucks are just to export or if they also going to pick up these buildings. Because I believe it's the, the raw forest um, products from these things. But yeah, I, 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 this is the, the things I don't know. I don't know how these things flow. So I can only I can only experiment and see what happens. I'm assuming, because this building is not producing, because there are not enough raw materials, and there's no freights in use, uh, freight, trucks, let's call it trucks, trucks in use, that it's not these buildings going to get stuff. It's either these, these um, raw producing buildings or the warehouses sending trucks here. And this, because we have so many buildings, this should be okay. Look, not all of them are in use. So let's see this one, for example. Why why doesn't the truck leave and just goes and delivers this? It's not too bad, only like once or twice you get these these things, but maybe it's because they're not operating efficiently, because there are not enough workers. Let's yeah, let's assume that's the case for now. Yeah, let's assume. As far as I can understand, it's like this. The raw material gets produced if any building is demanding for it the truck comes from here and delivers to whichever building is demanding for it if there is no demand for it uh, in terms of the factories it goes to the warehouse and then the warehouse itself has trucks and i think that's to complement this this supply so if these buildings are asking for resources like now look one two three four five buildings are asking for resources these guys will start working and they seem to be quite busy actually quite busy let me see the other one this one yeah they're all in use oh could it be the problem then i don't have enough storage not because i need more storage space but because of the trucks there's not enough trucks but then they should use these ones then hmm then I will do another experiment right here 
I still have space for build ups, not like this. Yeah, I still have some space here. Yeah, and maybe no, I was going to delete this and put another building here. Maybe I should. Can I move this one just once one square to the right? No, I cannot. Let's go back. Okay, I think I can if I put a star, it's a small one. Yeah, a small one here. Is it going to look very weird because it's not flat? Is it? Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> it is going to look very weird. <laughs> well, there's, there's an easy fix for that, which is flatten this. I didn't want to do more terraforming because I really am not good at it, but this should be easy. Yeah, just do something like this. So it's better to have smaller warehouses so that we have more available trucks. Let's see if that's the case. Let's see. This is a small uh, log yard, S12. Do I have a large storage, this one? No, this is a maintenance building. Uh, do I have a la large storage? No. Okay. I don't have large large storage, maybe that's it. This is small. Ah, uh, is this a small building? That's a bit more. Trucks 15. Yeah, maybe that is it. I remember one of the comments was about this. There's not enough storage buildings. Not because of storage, I reckon, but actually because of the trucks. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, dear viewer, for sending me in the right direction because, yeah, I probably wouldn't pay attention to this unless unless you have told me, which you did. So let's, uh, let's see. Ugh, I need to level this. I need to level this. Okay, this is a bit too big. Let's see. Let's get some more space, level all of this up. So this is going to be storage as well. I reckon if I can fit this in nicely. Yeah, I'm going to put a bunch of of these storage buildings here. Oh look! Oh no, it's just one building. I thought it was one next to the other and they aligned perfectly. Yeah, that would be too good to be true. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's continue this road all the way here. And let's put a few more of these and I see the impact on goods distribution. So I'm going to put another one of these. And oh wow, this is quite big. Okay, I guess you go hit then. Okay, this should be good enough for you. Let's see. Ah, the terrain again. If I just level the terrain here, it will will it fix the building as well? Let's find out. Did it fix the building? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Oh wow, this is going to be very busy. <laughs> Look how busy this is, already, this is already. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I probably need to give them an alternative. I probably need to give them an alternative. Uh, maybe if I just do a bit like this. I can just connect it straight like this. Oh, did I mess up a bus line? No, it's still here. Okay, let's see if this helps. Yeah, oh, this is getting quite, quite busy. I'm going to put even more. <laughs> I'm going to put another just because I, was, I can. I can just because I can. <laughs> uh, this is not a good idea. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, time to flatten this part a bit more. Wow, wow. Look at this amount of trucks. This is okay. I need to do some planning around here. Maybe just because it's the initial boom, you know, a lot of new buildings, a lot of new things are happening. I will let this run for a while just to see. Yeah, just see if this is going to stabilize after the, this building starts to fill up. Wow, this is just insane. Okay, 
Yeah, let's see the traffic flow, just out of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, okay. This is science, guys, because I'm, I'm really exploring the flow of goods in these areas and uh, it's not amazing. It is not, okay, I need to, this is not good. You see that a lot of trucks are despawning. Okay, maybe not a lot, but a few are despawning. And it's not good. Wow, so many trucks are coming here. Oh, these have 25. 25 and they are not in use because there is no demand for it. Maybe I went a bit crazy with this. Just a tiny bit. Oh, this is filling up so fast. Holy crap. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done so many. Oh, okay. Um, no, I leave it. Screw it. I leave it. I leave it. I will follow my theory till the end, which is this is just because it's the initial load and unload of trucks. It's just too much. Yeah, well, we'll see. We will see. Oh my god, this is just too many, too many trucks. Too many trucks. <laughs> okay, so definitely a lesson learned here, and I'm going to have a problem here. So this is the iron ore industry area and if with the forestry, that's why I use the forestry as an example, I have plenty of space to play around with, here I'm stuck, here I'm stuck in this little tiny corner, but uh, let me check actually the production rate of things, uh, where is the main building, is it this one, yeah, yeah, yeah same thing. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm producing much more raw materials than the ones I'm actually converting into metals and glass. Which means I might have to tweak this area a lot. A lot. Oh, God. Okay. It's going to be a lot of work, this one. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, these, these are still filling up, I think. Yeah, okay, maybe I went a bit crazy with this. Just a bit, just a tiny fraction. Oh, look how many, are they all full? How many do these things carry? What is 100% load, what is it? Is it, I don't know how many tons this is, but okay. It would be nice if you could say somewhere how many tons this is. Yeah, this is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to make one-way rolls out of this. Oh, I think I know I what I can do. Wait a second. I guess I can make this a one-way roll. Let me pause this. Yes, you come through here. And then... You turn around here. Right, right. Uh, I missed one. Okay, let's see, let's do this again, just one more, and then you connect here. So this should have a nice flow now, as soon as these guys sort themselves out. This should now be more efficient. Yeah, I think one way roads to the rescue. And I can probably turn this building around so that... Uh, Oh, come on, let me, uh, let me turn you around. I want you to connect to the other road. Let me connect you to this road. No, I can't. Okay, screw it. And this one, maybe this one will let me. Oh, no, okay, I don't, I, I need this one. Okay, but now this is a problem. <laughs> What if I connect you to this road instead? Oh, it doesn't let me, let me connect you! Uh -huh. it, okay, it did, it did, it did. Okay. So this has less crosses than here. And they stop here to load and unload stuff. Did I improve things? Slightly. This is still a problem. Yeah, okay. I definitely will need to revisit this area and optimize traffic a bit. 
because the warehouses generate a lot of traffic kind of makes sense but yeah I just messed up this whole area mm -hmm. maybe this is becoming a problem then yeah I'm going to make another experiment with traffic I'm going to change this to be a one-way road so you can leave but if you want to enter you need to come here so it kind of circles like this yeah let's see <laughs> so many trucks holy crap <laughs> so many trucks this is just insane look how many that is a lot of trucks in this road yeah a lot look at this yeah okay i think it's better i think it's better yeah one rows are really important i just really wasn't expecting so such a big flow of trucks here and that's why I, I, I didn't put too much thought into it but as soon as i created some kind of flow to the traffic it did seem to improve things a bit yeah i think it did improve things okay so this should mean that Paper and plant timber shouldn't be a problem anymore to these factories. Let's take a look. <laughs> it is still. Oh god, ain't I starting plant timber here? I am right here. Maybe it takes a while, maybe it takes a while. It should be overflowing with timber now. So I have all these buildings producing timber. Why are you still complaining? How many buildings are complaining about timber? Uh, okay, all these buildings seem happy. This, this one is complaining about petroleum. We'll get there. Yeah, I only have two buildings complaining at the moment. Oh no, this one as well. Plastics, okay. That is fine. But timber is an uh, odd one. So it's uh, storing everything except this. When I have a storage right here with plant timber, it's balanced. So I, why, why aren't you supplying? You have a bunch of trucks you can use. Yeah, so this is the thing I don't understand. You have a storage right here, right next to it. It has plenty of timber. Is it waiting to be filled up before but it's balanced it shouldn't yeah this is the things i don't understand if you know why this is happening i have a warehouse with plant timber right next to this unique factory that needs timber and it's not getting supplied when there's a bunch of trucks available to just you know go there and, and, and supply it if you know the answer to this question please let me know i would love to hear i hope this has been a useful episode so we were exploring this situation here of goods and warehouses and stuff i think in time we will have fixed this issue yeah and when we have more workers we probably will make this more efficient as well and uh, what i might do offline is tweak all the other industries i'm i was using forestry as an example like i said earlier just because I had a lot of space so I, I, I didn't have to worry about location so much but this industry and this industry is a bit tight although here I still have a bit of space to work with and agriculture I still have some spaces <gasps> oh no oh no what happened here burned down what I don't have fire department here I have what the hell oh no okay so i guess i need to can i repair it rebuild this research for survivors oh i don't have any response I, <laughs> I don't have any response unit i don't have any disaster um 
facilities, disaster recovery facilities. Oh yeah, we still have so many things to do in the city. I mean, the goal is 150k. I think we will reach that goal quite easily. Although I'm limited with nine tiles. If you are unaware of the goal of this series is to reach 150k with no mods while still making it a functional city, hopefully, and aesthetically pleasing, which I think it is. What do you think? I think it's a very nice looking city. It's, it's densely populated, but I've always lived all my life, well, except when I moved to the UK, I always lived uh, in, in cities, mainly Lisbon. And uh, yeah, this to me seems very familiar. And um, yeah, and there, there's still some free spaces here and there which I might fill up. But um, yeah, one step at a time, guys. One step at a time. Right now is optimizing industries, and it looks looks good now. The traffic around here, obviously a bit busy, but I might leave it. Yeah, I might leave it. It seems to be working nicely. And then I'll need to decorate this as well, put some trees around here. This is a forestry industry area. You're complaining about garbage and crime. Where is the police? There's one, two, three police and nobody goes there. Oh, there's another one right here. I don't, <laughs> I don't get this. <laughs> and in terms of garbage, where are some garbage facilities around here? Okay, there aren't. Okay, garbage. Okay, there's here, but yeah well actually they just need to cross this and they are here but uh maybe i just put something here yeah i'll put something here uh you're the one complaining can i i don't want to put it right in this area yeah this is all filled oh i can squeeze oh oh yes oh no because i'm going to destroy the pathway okay then, then no. in this side Ooh, yes i can destroy that Oh no, I don't actually destroy, it's a perfect fit. Oh, I just love it when this happens. <laughs> I just love it when the building fits perfectly in this space. Like it's on purpose, but clearly wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool guys. I think this is it for this episode. It's been uh, quite a long episode. Uh, I mean, compared to normal. But it's looking good. Let's take a look just before we, we wrap this up. Oh, I, yeah, I was still get the plant timber, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you be complaining about plant timber? When it's right here. It's right here. Look, this building. Look, you can even see the bi the timber. Guys, just someone from the from the building. Please just, just cross this road if you can. Can you? Yeah, look here. Here, here is here is a way you can. You can just cross this road. Come here, just help yourself. It's right here. I'm the mayor. I allow it. Okay, guys? Just come here and get the freaking timber. Why aren't you getting the freaking timber? I don't get it. <laughs> I hope one of you guys knows what's going on. Please do let me know because this doesn't make sense to me. Does not make any sense at all. It's missing a faraway place, building a warehouse story nearby can help ensure there's always some fire. Yes. You see this description here, this tool tip. Yes. It can't be any more nearby than this. Okay? If uh, anyone from uh, the developers... I'm sure the Skyline developers watch my channel. Why wouldn't they, right? It's not like there's a billion much better <laughs> channels than mine dedicated themselves to make awesome cities. Um, and I'm sure that they will just see my, my episode. So, guys, developers, this doesn't make sense, okay? This does not make sense at all. And it's been here for a long time. It's been here for a long time. I don't I don't get it. Okay, okay, I, I will stop dwelling on this. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned a thing of two or two. And I hope you know the answer to this question, to be honest. So if you do, uh, let me know and I'll see you again on the next episode. Bye bye.